and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my latest setup and my new agenda. So I will have the unboxing video linked below. And I did a mini um, setup where I transferred things over, but I finally had the time to sit down and put everything in here and organize this the way that I want. And most importantly, school starts on May 3rd and I do have um, my school section set up. So let's jump right in. On the side, I just have my sticky notes. Um, another thing to mention is that I have this set up so I can take it with me on the go. I do have to go to residency. We are probably going back to work soon. And so I needed to have this planner set up so I can take it with me on the go and I have all the information and everything that I need with me. So I always um, try and put sticky notes in all of my planners that I take with me. And so I use these planner cards from Cloth and Paper. And then I just stick a few sticky notes on here and that way I can always have sticky notes with me. And then I just have a variety. I have an appointment card in case I need it. And then I just have some of my favorite top paper co stickers and then some of these paper re stickers and the planner spot stickers just for um, some of my main plans. Um, so that's the side, there's nothing in the pockets. And then on the rings, so I have the gold CEO tab so that it matches the rings. Up front, I have the Louis Vuitton etched dashboard from Salty22. I'll have our Etsy shop linked below. I believe this is discontinued. I get a lot of questions about it and I believe it's discontinued. After that, I have this cover page. I just created this on Canva. Um, it is the Prada Marca sign. And I thought this would just be cute to layer and have up front. After that, I have the dashboard for my blog. So it just has my first two initials. And then LA Plans this is from Infinite Lotus. I do have a discount with Infinite Lotus. It is LA Plans 8 off 8. I have all of my discount codes in the description below and I'll have links to everything or as much as I can link below as well. This is another dashboard from Salty22. Again, I believe it's discontinued. I have this dashboard and this dashboard in all of my planners and I love them. After that, we have my inbox. So this is the gloss inbox from Cloth and & Paper. And then on here, I'm just pricing my books and where to get them where they're the cheapest. Um, so I have that. And then I have the inbox inserts. So I kind of just have this as like a general um, inbox with just things that I need to continuously update in my calendars and then just um, information as well. And then we get into the tabs. So behind this one, we have a dashboard from Cloth and Paper. These are discontinued now, I believe. They might be on the last chance section. And then I have four glass top tabs from Cloth and Paper. And this first tab is the 2021 dashboard from Infinite Lotus, and it's just an overview of the year. So this is broken down by yearly, quarterly, monthly, and weekly. So. We have the year, and then the second tab, we have the quarterly. So these are from Elmon Paper Co. I've had this in my planner, and this just has important birthdays, travel days, and any events like weddings or baby showers. And then after that, we have the monthly section. And so this just has my monthly inserts from Infinite Lotus. This is my monthly inbox and overview, and this has a breakdown of everything in the quarterly view. So has other dates like tuition. I'll have um, when my semesters begin and end on these and then just other month specific items. And then the last section is the weekly inserts. And so I have the Infinite Lotus weekly inserts divided by these cloth and paper monthly dashboards. These are just the overview of my weeks and these just have um, anything important going on and then a list of weekly action items that I need to do. And then after that, we have the list section. And so this is, I call it my schedule section. And so it's just everything broken down and it's a list of everything that I need to do um, by category. So I take everything on here and break it down um, into here. And so these inserts are from Elamon Paper Co. as well. These are printable and I printed them on Infinite Lotus Paper. 
I like to tell everybody that you can buy Infinite Lotus paper just because they have my favorite planner inserts. They're amazing and then you can just um, punch the holes yourself but you get that smooth paper and it's amazing. But I just use these and I break it down into any four categories that I need so it's not necessarily the same. So for example this week I had a work section but I took out work from here and so um, this is always like schedule and personal and then I have school. This is for blogging and then I have packages and then I believe I'm keeping that the same for right now but if I ever want to add work back into here I'll do that. I like tracking my packages on here. Um, I like to know when things are going to come in and so I do preset up the entire month so that I can go in whenever I get a shipping notification and put that in. But yeah these are just breakdowns of things that I need to do and track and just lists of everything going on and then I like having it broken down because it makes it easier to um, plan out my day and week. So we have these and then that's everything in this section and then we get into the project section and so this is everything that I need for content planning and again I incorporated this back in so that I can have everything with me on the go um, but the first tab is the inbox and I just have some sticky notes on there and then the second tab is the horizontal weekly inserts from cloth and paper so I've been using these for content planning and I love these. I think these are everybody's new favorite inserts. But I just use this to break down everything that I need to do, whether it's filming, editing, anything, you name it, it's on here uh, if it's blog related. And then this next tab is the project management section. So this is for collaborations. And then behind that we have just some note sheets. And so that is the content section. And then after that is still kind of the content section. So I have the Maddie Plans and Elm on Paper Co. Um, bundle so I can track um, all things expenses and then um, income when it comes to blogging. And I just like having this in here. And then this next section is for school. So. I have my syllabus for my first class in here and then a reading log because I have to do a lot of reading in this class. Um, so I have this from um, cloth and paper in here to keep track. And then I have um, the first two months for my classes in here. And so my semester is a little different. So I have two classes each semester and then it's broken down into sessions. So I only take one class at a time, which is actually kind of nice. I've never had that. And I think it's going to be strange to have that one class at a time, but that also means that everything's accelerated in that class. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that, especially with all the reading that I have to do because I am only taking one class at a time and it's broken down into sections. The first class is May through June, so it works out perfectly. Um, so I might just do the tabs for the month if I can't fit the full row of tabs in here. We'll see. But I have for my first class um, the May and June tab. These are from Cloth and Paper as well. They're the gold monthly tabs in glass. Um, and then these inserts are from Infinite Lotus. So I have the monthly lined inserts because for school I like having a calendar view. I like having this for everything. So I like having a monthly view for all of my assignments so I can track when everything's due. So I'm putting all deadlines on here and probably only deadlines on here so I know when they're completed and that everything's turned in on time. And so these are the principal version and then again I printed it on Infinite Lotus paper. I chose the line so it's easier to write on um, and it gives me more structure which I prefer but they do have this in unlined. And then you get a dashboard on the back because this is just their monthly inserts. And so back here, I think for important dates, I'm going to put um, exam schedules and project schedules. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do up here. And then I'm thinking about just having a list of all of my assignments here, but I'm really gonna have that on here. So I'm not 100% sure what we're doing down here, but we'll figure it out when school starts. After the monthly inserts, I have these vertical weekly lined inserts from Infinite Lotus. So I love the note section up front because I can keep important information up here for each month. And then I love how this insert is broken down by Monday through Thursday on one page and then Friday through Sunday 
on another page, mainly because when it comes to assignments, you get them generally when you do online classes on Monday and then everything's due at some point in the weekend. And so I can use this section to plan out when I'm doing it and then mark out deadlines on here. So I just love the structure and formatting. And then this also has a memo page. So I really liked these inserts and these only come in printable, I believe. Again, I'll have it linked below. And then I just um, added these stickers and papery plannings to mark the um, week number in the semester. And then the back has these, has a full note page. Again, don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but it's nice to have. And then I just have those for both months. As you can see, my class slash the first session ends here. So that's the full like two months and the next one begins here. So what I'll do then is switch them out for the next class. And so I think I'm only gonna keep um, each one session at a time. So we have that and then under the miscellaneous section, generally I don't keep anything here or it's a project, um, but because again, I will be traveling, I put my work inserts back into the planner. And so that way I have a reference of what's going on with um, events for work and things that need to be done and that we're working on. If I don't reference these, then I'll probably take it out again because that's what I normally do. But just in case I need them, I have this quarter's uh, monthly inserts in here to reference if needed. And then other than that, that is everything in this planner. And then that is the setup. So if y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. This is the consolidated version of everything that I need. And I really like the structure and layout. But yeah, other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.